thank you for joining, if you will join. And if you're watching the replay, even better. I'm Rob um, Wynn from, uh, well, Learn Breezy English. And uh, I'm just here today to do a live on phrasal verbs, common phrasal verbs. So hello to everybody saying hello. Thank you for joining. Um, I'm going to give you a few phrasal verbs, but then I want you to join. And then I want you to tell me phrasal verbs that you know of, but you don't understand. You want me to explain them to you. All right. And you can ask questions as well. There's like a little question mark. So if you have a question, just write it in there and I'll try to read it. And somebody already wants to join. That's excellent. I like the enthusiasm of you. So thank you so much, everybody. Hi from London, but Italian, well, wonderful. Are you enjoying London? Um, I used to live in London, but those days are behind me now. But I do go there now and again. I'll be there on the weekend. So I'm looking forward to being back in London. Okay, so you're saying already, phrasal verb move. Well, move is not a phrasal verb. It's just a word. So it's just a verb. So give it to me in context. Do you mean how is move used in phrasal verbs? Uh, move on, I suppose. Yeah, you can use it as move on. So let's say you were in a relationship and it's finished. And sometimes people cling on to the past. But no. That's a bad idea. You need to move on from past relationships or anything in the past that has negative uh, connotations. Um, knock off. Somebody says knock off. This is great. I don't even have to read you my ones because you're going to tell me. Knock off. Well, knock off has a few. Um, sometimes in sales, when you're buying something. You can try to knock off the price, um, or that'd be more knock down the price. Knock off can be used also, it's uh, if something's stolen perhaps, a piece of stolen goods is it's knock, knocked off, or you can knock off the price, knock down the price, they're kind of similar. What are you talking about? Phrasal verbs, it's phrasal verbs today. So if you're into phrasal verbs, catch up. Brilliant. We use catch up all the time. It's to do with time, believe it or not. When you catch up with someone, you physically, it could be physically, where you are trying to catch somebody, like somebody's running away or, or you're running for a bus and you want to catch up with the person running for the bus. Um, but also you can, if you haven't seen someone a friend for some time, you catch up, you meet and you catch up. It means that you're updating each other with what has happened in your lives since the last time you met. Can you write the verb you talked about? Which verb is that? I spoke about move, I spoke about catch up. All right, so you can give me some on here. and Let me have a look. We've got some people who want to join. We'll get you on in a second. I'm just going to read you some of my um, uh, phrasal verbs that are on my computer. Um, all right. So, well, you said catch up. There's also backup. Backup. Call out somebody saying, hang on. Save it, please. Going to put kids to nap time. <laughs> Save it, please. I think you save it, don't you? I can't do anything, so... Or do you mean just me, me wait? I'll wait for you to put the kids to bed. <laughs> Fall apart. All right. Um, all right, let me try and read yours. Call out. Different. What's the difference between bring down and bring up? Yeah, well, bring up. I mean, when I think of bring up, it's normally with, with your children. You bring up children. That's your role as a parent is to bring up your children. Bring down. You bring down somebody if you're being negative towards them. So maybe you were at work and a work colleague brought you down. 
brought because the past bring so brought you down they it's like getting you down similar to get down getting down when your your heart is hurt and more importantly your brain is affected by some negative comment it, it can bring you down so they are they're, they're completely different but thank you for the question that's great and hello Notty's joined hello Notty he's a lovely guy he does lives on here and we'll be doing a, uh, a collab, a collaboration soon, me and Notty. Call out. So you call out, well, that's again, it's got a few different ones. You could call out somebody that was being mischievous or misbehaving. Um, and maybe somebody's doing something that is hidden. They're trying to do something behind someone's back. And you spot it, you can call them out. I'm calling you out because I saw you doing whatever it was you were doing. Uh, fall apart. Fall apart. Well, yeah, that can be physically for something falling apart. But as a phrasal verb, normally it could be a person that is um, having a hard time, perhaps. And then maybe lose their temper. And it's like they're falling apart. It's it's mentally, almost mentally, they're, they're mentally falling apart. But it can be like long term or it can be a short moment in a day. You kind of fall apart in the day and you kind of lose your bearings. Um, so that's that. Hello, Angelica. Thank you. Can you write down words, please? Well, I've got my board here. As you can see, if you want me to write down words, um, I suppose I can write down what the people have said to me. So Moody says, take over. Take over. I mean, that is what you would expect when something is taken over. Perhaps, let's say at work again, you have a shift and you work until 9, 8, 9 p.m. And then another person takes over your role in the job at 9 p.m. And then they work until whenever. So that's taking over. That's one way you could use take over. Thank you for your comments about what's happening in Iran. It's awful. Um, yeah, I mean, this obviously lots of people on here. Um, uh, the, the owner is wonderful to let us come on here. I don't want it to be political, but of course I fully support the women in Iran. It's awful what's happening there. Um, Phrasal verbs, so you said phrasal verb is very hard. Well, you would normally say phrasal verbs are very hard because there's many phrasal verbs. Um, but it's a case of, you can learn them all the time when you're watching English films and TV shows. You'll hear people saying phrasal verbs. Make a note, people. Hopefully you have a notebook now. Always be making notes for you to look at after. And then you can look them up. We have the most important thing most of us do. And you will do because you're using it right now. The internet. So you can use the internet to help you understand anything. Any phrasal verb. Just ecosia it. That's what I use. Not Google. Ecosia. I'll write it on here. Now... I have to write backwards, all right, because that learn breezy English is actually written backwards. So, Ecosia, let me copy the E there. This is a search engine that every time you use it, they plant a tree. All right, um, Ecosia dot org all right is that clear ecosia dot org so i think that r is wrong way around or it's the right way around on here so org ecosia dot org search for phrasal verbs any that you hear today and i'll try to write some down hello from panama city DRC, where's DRC? 
I haven't practiced English for a long run. I am here to catch up on my English. Very good. So you use a phrasal verb there, catch up on my English. Bom dia, where are you from? Brazil or Portugal? Save the life. Ah, da, da. Take out. Did I do take out? I think did take over. Take out. When I think of take out, I think of like killing somebody. You take them out. Uh, but I suppose a boxer could take someone out with a right hook. It's like knocking somebody out when you take out somebody. Come up with. Yeah, well, I could come up with an idea for a lesson. That's how you could use come up with. Take off. Well, planes, they take off. Literally, they take off from the ground and they fly somewhere. That's taking off. But also a business could take off. A business has just started and then it starts to make a bit of money. And you could say that business has taken off. It means it's doing really well. Okie dokie. And I'm going to invite some people on in a bit. I want to hear your phrasal verbs. So if you want to join, there's four people. I'll pick one of you. So pick up somebody. Yeah, pick up. This is interesting because you think of picking. It's normally like you pick this up physically. But you can also pick somebody up in a car. Let's say your dad, uh, you give him a call. And says, Dad, I'm at the station. The buses are on strike. Can you can you pick me up so your dad could drive and collect you? And that is a way you could use pick me up. Your dad has picked you up. Not physically, but in, in his car. Let down. Well, let down. You know, great song by Radiohead. If you've heard that, that it, it's not really about... Well, I suppose it is about being let down because that's what it's called. But if you let someone down, it means that you have done something to disappoint them. You know, sometimes friends, I have a friend, he's let me down big time with his, his, his something that he's thought or, or the way he thinks about certain people, which is disgusting. And I was very shocked. Sorry about that. Let down. My battery's low. I better plug it in. Can you imagine... That has happened once before, when my, my phone ran out of battery, mid-live. But I'm not going to let that happen today. All right, it's been plugged in. Who wants to speak English with me? Also, remember, to improve your English, you must speak it every day, really. So find a... There's 440 people. So if you want to find a, a, a speaking partner, just write it on here. And then... Just send messages. Don't hassle people. Don't be weird. Just be a normal human being and try to improve your English. I'd like to. All right, there we go. So Kiara's into it. That other person with the long name, they want. Um, f please follow me. He wants to be followed. Fair enough. Run out of battery. Run out. Well, yes, there we go. Run out. So when a battery, I said it then, my phone, and we've all had that, when our phone runs out of battery, that means the battery's dead, it's gone, and we all hate that, it's, it's awful when our phone runs out of battery, so that's another phrase of, I've got a question here, let me have a look what the question is, could you explain the difference between purchase and buy? No difference, it's the same really, um, if you want to buy a product, it's the same as purchasing a product. So no difference. Um, let's have a look. More questions. I would like to speak English. Of course you would. Practice every day. I need a partner. So another one. Lots of people want speaking partners. Hang out. Yeah. Well, you can hang out with somebody, a friend. That means just being with each other. So you might, you've probably seen it or heard it on shows 
on films. Let's hang out. Just means let's get together and be together for, you know, however long. Um, I'm trying to think other ways of hang out. It can also be called like a, a verb, a, a noun, a hangout. Could be somebody where you, some place where you go. Let's go to the usual hangout where we meet. And that could be a, a cafe we go to, perhaps. All right, let's have a look. If you've got any more, get over. Yeah, get over. Well, that's, we were talking about relationships, you know, moving on from a past relationship. You could also be like your friends got, is just broken up with their partner and they're sad but it's been like a couple of weeks now or a month and you're like come on you've got to get over them and that just means move on it's just the same as move on when you get over something you're getting past that stage of sadness when something awful happens it could be you know to make it not like death or something like that because again that's more serious, of course. Um, a breakup is something where you would use get over it. You wouldn't say that about a death because you never get over that. Um, but mentally, you have to move on. You do have to move on. Because life does go on for us that are still alive. Um, can you save this live video to upload later? Yes, I believe it will be on ewa.english's feed. So you can watch it another time if you can't watch it now. Um, my battery run away. <laughs> Very good. No, not run away. Running away is like literally a person or an animal running. They're running away from you or from somewhere. So your phone battery runs out. It runs out, it doesn't run away, it runs out. All right, so you'd say my battery ran out. Because remember, it's passed, it's happened. If, it's, if, it, if it just ran out, it still ran out because it's, it's, it's out. But if it's about to run out, then you say my battery will, future, run out. The best words in the business in business English. The best words. I mean, it's interesting. It's difficult to say which are the best words. There's many words used in business English. I will work on something to do with business English because I know many people would want help with business English. Um, okay, let's have a look. To make up. Well, make up. That can be physically the makeup you put on, but as a phrasal verb, to make up is if you're friends and you've had an argument or a relationship and you've had a row and you have to fix that relationship. So you must make up. You make up with them, you're becoming friends again or partners, or you haven't broken up, but you're. Just being friendly again. You've made made up. Practice is useful. Well, practice is necessary. You must practice every day. Hang up the phone. Yes, hang up. Yep, that's perfect. So you hang up the phone means just put the phone down or put the phone down. You guys probably all about mobile phones. But obviously there are household phones and you put it back down. But with an actual uh, mobile, which I'm speaking on right now, you just hang up. Press the button to hang up to stop the call. Very good. I don't know how can I learn efficiently. Just got to learn every day and get speaking partners. And every single day, the more you learn the better you'll get. Where am I? Good question. I am in Bidford on Avon, which is in the Midlands of England. So I'm not that far away from Stratford upon Avon. And can anybody tell me a famous 
man from Stratford upon Avon. If you can tell me that, I'll be very impressed. Fill up, fill up, fill up. Yeah, I think that is literally what it sounds like. I'm not sure how else you can use it. You, like here is my cup of tea. So I fill up my cup with tea, physically with some water, hot water and a tea bag. I mean, a tea bag you don't fill up because that's just physical thing, isn't it? But the tea is what you're using to fill up uh, the cup. So that's how we'd use fill up. I'm not sure how else you'd use it. Again, with liquid, maybe in a car, you need to put petrol in your car. You'd fill up your car with petrol. Could you give us the best words in the business English? Crack me up. Well, that's to laugh. So if you are watching a comedian, you want them to crack you up. So if you're cracked up, if somebody cracks you up, they're making you laugh hysterically. Is your accent BBC? Well, it's English. I mean, BBC is just a broadcasting corporation that shows TV programmes. So there's no BBC English, I don't believe. Um, let's follow each other. I'm from India. I'm with you. If anyone wants, okay. Look, more people want to practice English. I'm from Ecuador, Thailand. I have a GP for practice English with me. If you want to join a GP, oh, that's a group. Get that guy has a group. English Nazi. Go to him and ask to join his speaking group. Yeah, my accent is London, because I'm from London, South London. Which is more important, having more vocabulary or using grammar as a second language student? Listen, people, don't worry about grammar, because many natives don't understand grammar. And it's not that difficult, grammar, really. If you're writing, then you need to know it more. But if you're speaking, you don't need to worry. You're going to make mistakes, no problem. The person you're speaking with, they might, they should really tell you, oh yeah, you need to say this instead. But also people, when we're speaking to you, unless it's awful, you know, then they won't mind. They'll understand that you're not from a, an English speaking country. So don't worry about grammar. Um, vocabulary is important. Obviously, obviously, there's lots of words in the English language, but natives don't know half of them. I don't know half of them, seriously. Um, because there's one word, like good, you know, it's the basic word, but we can, I, I use that all the time. And there's many synonyms for good, but listen, you know good. You should know good. So if you can't think of another one, just use good, bad. Just learn the basic ones to start off with. And then, as you progress with your English, you want to learn more words. And uh, what I always say to people is, you have to use it, otherwise you'll lose it. So it's, again, it's about the practice, putting it into use. And that's how you remember words, okay? What is, G yeah, as a group. So somebody put, what is a GP? I, he means group. Um, so if you want to join his group, go and say hello to him. Okay, uh, guys, my, like, like my rule, follow me, not to put any to do it. You are not the same to you, your family, your friends and models. Mm -hmm. I am all ears. You missed it. Well, that, that's kind of a phrase or verb in a way. It's kind of a sentence, an idiom, all ears. It means you're listening. So I'm all ears. And hopefully you are all ears right now runs out so well we spoke about that before with batteries running out running out of electricity or battery i run out of cheese yep again <laughs> that's run is like present so normally it's, it's in the past because the cheese has gone so you'd say ran i i i i have ran i've ran out of cheese Hang on, I've ran, I've run out of cheese. 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 Yeah. 
<laughs> All right. Um, carry on. Question marks. Carry on. Well, it's like the famous saying, keep calm and carry on. Just means to keep going, keep working, keep doing what you're doing, keep living, carry on, whatever it is. And you guys, carry on learning English. My battery is low. Plug it in. What's up? So is that, are you saying, is that a phrasal verb or are you just asking me what's up? Because that's what you say to people when you meet them. What's, what's up? It means like, what's going on? How are you doing? Right, I'm, I, I'm using EWA app. It's good. What about real classes? Where may I contact them? Interesting. Yes, great. EWA, they have an app, which is really impressive. So I guess it, that on the app, you can find people to have lessons with. I assume. Make amends. Ah, good one. Make amends. Well, that means you've done something wrong. Or there's been a fight. And to make amends means to make up. We were talking about before to get back into being friendly again. You make amends. Or you've done something wrong. You've made a mistake. You need to make amends by apologising. That's what make amends means. Thank you for following me. I appreciate that. If you do want to follow me, learn breezy English. And I do collabs with people and reels. Do all the all that jazz. Add me, Masso. I can be partner. What does analog mean? Good question. Analog is when I always think about technology that is not digital, right? I think. So it's technology from the past, analog. Now, I'm sure from all of you, there's somebody that knows a lot more about technology than me. So if you can explain the difference, well, what is analog? Because I just think of analog being technology from the past. I'm English. I don't, I don't master, I don't even master English, to be honest, but it is my native language. I, I know um, Portuguese. Shakespeare, of course, very good. That was, William Shakespeare is from Stratford-upon-Avon. Very good. Top marks for you, A-E-F-E-C-I-L. Which we should do mine. Business, business English. I mean advanced verbs, for example, amplify, indicate, and much more, which we should to mine. I'm not sure what the question is there. Hello, teacher. I have a question. Well, write in the question. Let me see. There's another question here. TV series you recommend to improve British accent. All right. Now, you have to decide which British accent you want to have because there are many. British accents. If you want a London accent like mine, lots of shows in London. But if you want an RP, you could listen to, well, watch the news. They have an RP accent. So it's just a case of, uh, you have to watch entertaining shows. Sherlock I love. Uh, I recommend Sherlock. Um, somebody says, run up or keep it up. Run up. Yeah, keep it up. I mean, run up. When would you say run up? Run up. I guess running up would be maybe a price of some sort. So the price or at the moment, as you know, inflation, uh, bills are going up. So they're kind of, you say going up, but you would just say running up. Maybe if you're using your technology at home, you may be running up. The electricity bill. You could use it that way. Keep it up. Well, you could use that with your English studies. Are you keeping up your English studies? Which means doing it. Keeping keeping on doing your work and improving your English. All right, that answers those questions. Now, it's been half an hour of me just chatting. I want to get you on here. So, oh yes, very good. Thank you. Somebody wants to 
get a screenshot of the blackboard. Learn Breezy English is my uh, account and ecosia.org is a search engine. So instead of Google, that doesn't help anyone, um, well, it, it helps you, I suppose, it, but this helps you and it also plants a tree. So it's helping the planet. Are you talking at your usual speed? I No, I'm a little bit slower, perhaps, but... You know, I, I try to speak slowly. I don't understand. What don't you understand? Chelsea or Arsenal? Neither. It's Crystal Palace all the way. Grammar isn't massively important. Don't worry about, gal about um, grammar. It's something that you get better at, as I did, and everybody who is a native. You don't begin great at grammar. It's something you learn. Great. I really obsess with it. London. You love London. Fantastic. Chill out. Well, chill out means like relax. So if you want to relax, you could just chill out, drop your shoulders, do just read a book. You're chilling out. It's the opposite of working hard. Do I have a chat group? I have a WhatsApp group, but maybe I need to do a chat group. Um, so maybe I'll do one of those. I don't understand too. What don't you understand? To fill or to stuff a cake? Don't stuff a cake. I guess you could fill a cake, but... I mean... You might have, like, icing, but that wouldn't be in the cake. It'd be on the cake. But sometimes cakes have... It's not icing, some sort of sweet in the middle... So you could fill it. I want to master grammar and how. But you want to master grammar. Well, listen, you need to study yourself. You've got the internet. You can work and do it on your own if you want. Or you can get a teacher. Um, there's many of us out there. You just uh, find the one that you want to help you and that you can afford. What is important to learn English? Do you mean what's important to learn in English? It depends what you want to use English for. I can, un I can understand you, but if you talk slowly, I think it will be better for me. Well, I am kind of speaking slowly. Run out of money. Yes, that's a good one. When you run out, like running out of battery, you can also run out of money when you've got no money anymore. Uh, if you need to do an exam, listen, you can always private message me and I can try to give you some advice. Could you hop me on? Could you hop me on? What do you mean there? Could you? I'm not sure what you mean there. I'm from Italy. Would anyone like to join my group to practice English? You see, there's other people with groups you, you can join to practice speaking. Pops is a slang for dad. Yes, it is. Pops. P-O-P-S. Carry on equals keep going. Yes, very good. We are running out of milk. We should go to the grocery store. Perfect. You're running out of something. Batteries, money, milk. I hate it when I run out of milk. I don't know what I need to do. I can help you improving French... Great, somebody's... No, that's someone else has gone live. To fix. That's not a phrasal verb. That's just a, that's just a verb. Fix. You fix something when something's broken. I want to learn English speaking. I'm preparing for arts exam. Need your help. Interestingly, I am doing a course on IELTS. So if you want to get my course, send me a DM. All right, that's my... Profile. Learn breezy English. And after this, it will be in the it will be in the caption as well. Okay. Currently, technology is very fast. True. Contemplating means contemplating means when you're thinking deeply on something, you're contemplating it. 
phase out? Well, phasing something out means you're slowly letting it go. So you're phasing it out. It's not a sharp. Let's say you've got an addiction. Maybe you smoke cigarettes and you used to smoke 20 per day. Now it's 10, then it's five. It's like you're phasing it out slowly. It's not, you're not going cold turkey, which means you go to zero straight away. Tips to understand Cockney accent better, mate. You just have to listen to it and ask questions. And if you're watching something, have subtitles to help you. Where am I from? I'm from McCroydon, South London. Grammar isn't important for speaking. You know, don't worry about it. Just learn from what you hear. The meaning of chill out, I said before, just relax. Chill out, relax. What about arts? I'm going to help you with arts. Just uh, send me a DM. British English accent is better than US English. Is that a statement? Because there was no question mark. So if you prefer English, that's great. British English. Can you give me advice as I want to teach English to adults? So what advice do you need? First of all, you need to be good at English. Where are you from? There is the Russian painting of flowers on the wall. I like both accents, they're both amazing for me, thank you. People keep saying, what about IELTS? DM me if you wanna know how to pass IELTS exams. West Ham, somebody says West Ham. Thank you, sir. Oh, you're a West Ham fan, fair enough. For giving me a chance to take screenshots of Blackboard. Thank you, sir, no problem. Did you get it? Did you take that screenshot? Now is your chance to take a screenshot and uh, and come and follow me. I understand your English, it's so clear. Thumbs up, thank you. Speed up, slow down. Well, that's the opposite. So if you're in a car and you speed up, means your speed increases. If you slow down, it decreases, okay? First time I see you here. This is, this is my third time on the EWA and hopefully I'll come back. I love it get so many people this is so rare on mine i get maybe 40 um will the english people understand me if i will talk to in an american yeah listen american english of course we understand that i get very shy when i talk and forget all words because you're not practicing enough simple as that the more you practice the better you will get a good friend of mine played in Crystal Palace. Julian Speroni. No way. How is he a good friend of yours? DM me, please. Because Julian Speroni is a Palace legend. So please DM me. Govic 10 You must be Argentinian. Regards from Chile. Where did you say you are from? Croydon. In uh, South London. Dry out. Dry out. Well, when something gets dry, so let's say a sponge. Sponge is not dry, right? But if it's left without water, after a while, the water will vaporize and it will become dry. So it dries out. Or, or even like washing, when you're hanging, hanging your washing clothes outside in the sun, they're damp but then they dry out and they become dry. What's the best way to brush up for reading or writing skills? Practice reading, practice writing. Simple as that. He had pa so he had passed out, because again, it's the past. So yeah, if you pass out, it means you, you lose, lose consciousness. Can you tell me some English movies I hear when I'm starting to learn English? Well, Cartoons are the best way to start because 
they're easy to understand, there's not a lot of difficult dialogue, and you can put subtitles on as well. Look after is caring for someone. You're looking after somebody. All right, I should probably get somebody on. It's just me and I want to get somebody on from you. But I just want to ask your questions. This is, uh, I'm over the moon. Don't spell the P. Uh, don't spell the P's. So I'm over the moon means you're really happy. And don't spill the beans, maybe. Spill the beans means giving something away. Maybe a secret. And you say it, you've spilled the beans. And that you can think of it physically, like you've got a pot of beans and you spill them, then they're all over the floor. That's like you've said something that you shouldn't have said. You've spilt the beans. Better to find a chatting group will be more preferable to learn English. Yes, you're right. There's been a few people on here, so go through and there's a few people that have chatting groups. I do have a YouTube channel. Learn breezy English. And on TikTok, actually TikTok is my name. So Rob Wynn, um, if you want to follow me on TikTok, reach out my dreams. So reach out for my dreams. Yeah, if you're reaching out for something, it's not like you're getting it. You just kind of want to, reaching out for it, but not quite getting there. Um, what does oi mean? What well, oi means hello in, in Portuguese. What about reading stories? Yeah, of course. To improve your reading, read stories. And you can start with children's books. Start simple, depending on your level. Very good. Ah, Megwell, how you doing? He's a regular. Rise and grow, same. Not really, like, can grow as a child, you grow up. We're always growing up, but we don't rise up. That's more about height, rise. Like a high rise building is a really tall building. So they're not quite the same. Say bottle of water. I don't get that joke really, bottle of water. We do pronounce the T, but... Um, yeah, it sounds normal to me. Hello, where I can study C1 online? Study C1. You can't, don't really study C1. C1 is a level that you get to as you progress through English to get to C1 level. I did plan to do a workshop on teaching you how to get to C1, C2 level, but nobody wanted it, so... That's that's the way of an English teacher. Do you like Iron Maiden? Not really. Don't really listen to that. Heavy metal, not my cup of tea. Um, thank you, thank you, Olga Saturno. I appreciate your compliment. Crawdads, if somebody says the book Crawdads Sing, it's an animal, Crawdads. I think it's a bird. That's what I've heard. Okay, thank you all those that are following me. I appreciate it. How to speak fast? Well, you just speak fast. I mean, but you've got to be able to know English to start off with. Indicate is a very useful word. In business English, your accent is awesome. Thank you. Indicate. Okay, yep. Yeah. And do you know what indicate means? When you're showing something, you're, you're kind of maybe proving your theory by showing is like indicating and in fact on a car you have the indicators so if you're turning right you put the right indicator on and then you have the flashing light indicator so that helps you understand what indicator means okay what can i do for to learn english very well sad face Practice every day. All right, let me set them. I'm gonna have a look, see who wants to join. All right, I'm gonna go to the bottom. Who is that? I'm gonna go to the bottom because they were the first person.
nope, they've gone now. So let's try this person, see if they're still here. So I'm gonna invite some of you on now and listen to your questions, try to answer them. So if I invited you on, you get five seconds. And if you don't join, I'm gonna move on to someone else. Patricia, is Patricia still here? My tea is cold now, but still, it's okay. I love tea. Warm or cold? All right, Nur. Nur, are you there? Let's see if Nur is there. Five seconds. Oh, look, got 606. Oh, 20 people just dropped then. But hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate, um, I want to say, Ivana, Ivana, Irina. Sorry for forgetting your name. She's a lovely lady. But I've spoken to Ivana, I think, is from Heart of Learning. Follow Heart of Learning. She's lovely. Great English teacher from Canada. All right, they haven't joined either. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. All right, social. Social creator. Because these people probably just joined ages ago. British. Somebody's just said British. Are you British? See, nobody's joining. I think maybe because they've, they've left. They've asked to join and then they've left. So I've invited a few people on. Let's see if somebody does join. I don't want to invite lots of people on at the same time because ideally just one person at a time is good. But no. Just rise to a challenge. You like that one? Yes. If you have a challenge, you must rise to it. That means facing it and taking it on, doing the challenge. Again, I suppose taking something on, another phrasal verb. And I guess you guys, you might have an English exam and you have to take it on. You have to do it and you have to do it to the best of your ability. All right, let's see. I've only got four more left. No one else has, has said they want to join or they've just left unable to join oh we've got somebody we've got someone hello who's this bad connection oh dear that's often the case sometimes you get bad wi-fi connection hello who's that hello teacher can you hear me i can who are you i'm Soknit. i'm from cambodia and nice to see you teacher why can't we see your face I'm I'm shy. I like right. I don't know. It is my first like time, and I right. like. All right, no worries. Talk to what, what, do you have any questions for phrasal verbs? Oh uh, well, I do have a question. Like at first, when I started learning English, I I like my English improved so fast. But when I get into like intermediate level, I feel like I get stuck, like a plateau, and. And and I don't know what to do ne to do next. I feel like I like I slowly improve my English. It it doesn't fast like like when I first started learn English, you know. But, but when listen, I, listen, listen. and I, I and and I. Sorry. No, go on. Continue, teacher. Yeah, but and now I feel like I don't understand. Like there are a lot of things that I don't understand when it comes to listen to podcasts. There are tons of words that I don't get. Even though I watch my favorite movie and I still don't get it. And I feel like I'm stuck now. I feel like the progress isn't like, like, no, I didn't see any progress. I didn't make any progress. All right. Well, like, listen, it's, let, it's not let, the let same. Me, let, me, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Don't panic because you clearly are an excellent learner because when you started learning, you learned really fast. And maybe that's why now you think, I want to continue learning fast, but you've got to a level where you're, you're at a high level and you just now have to slow down. Don't think about, oh, I've got to learn this so fast. Slow down. When you're watching films, have a notebook. Always have your notebook and don't be afraid to pause. 
you see a word or phrase, write it down. And then if you want, you can look it up there and then online to know what it means. That's the best way. Or you can look at it afterwards. But it's better to look then at that time because then it will make sense. With podcasts, you can slow podcasts down as well. All right. And if you want to, it's the same, just pause. You heard a word, rewind it. It's perfect with podcasts. Rewind, listen again. Okay. Try and write it down, what, what they've said, and look it up. Okay. Oh, yeah, I got it, teacher. And that's it, teacher. And thank you for your, like, thank you for answering my question. And no worries. Yeah. Have a good no one. Worries, man. Thank Enjoy you very much. You day. take care, all right? I'm going to remove you. I'm trying to see how I can yeah. do that. All right, take care. Yeah. That was all right, wasn't it? Excellent questions. Yeah, podcasts are useful, aren't they? Oh, that's a question. Podcasts are amazing. I listen to podcasts all the time. To be honest, I very rarely watch films or shows like TV shows. I don't have time for them. I like to listen to podcasts and they are a great way to learn English. Just listen to a podcast about a subject that you love, that you enjoy. I listen to film podcasts, um, interviews with people, famous people. Um, yeah, they're great. They're really entertaining and you learn with entertainment. All right, can you answer my call? Well, generally I only answer calls from my private students, okay? Which platform do you prefer? What do you mean, what platform? Give me a bit more. Are you talking about podcasts? You have a question. So tell me your question. You can also join and get on. So we spoke to, I'm going to invite Harm, Harm a fool, odd name. Where can I find podcasts? Online. Online. Just we'll go to ecosia.org. Just type in podcasts. I, I have an iPhone, so I just go to the podcast app. There'll be an app. For podcasts oh hello who is this oh, another person without their picture who's this hello 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 are you there hello how are you teacher who's this what's your name my name I'm is Hamid yeah, I don't know why you're taking so long to reply. Is it a bad signal? Um, no, what? Can you speak slowly? Do you have a question? Do, do you have a question about phrasal verbs? Yes. Yeah. We face uh, many, many difficult when you, when, uh, when I speak English. I need someone to okay. co uh, to make conversation with you. Well, you need a speaking partner. Okay. Yes. You need to practice. So you need to find someone either on yes. Instagram or on other apps. Hello Talk, iTalky. There's lots of other apps where you can find a speaking partner. Okay. If you want a teacher then it, yes. you have to pay. So if you, most people don't value that and they often they can't afford it. So you can find people to practice speaking with online. Okay. I, Do you have any questions now, about know, phrasal verbs? No, no, no. I know what you say now, but I, uh, but I can't speak. I know you, what you say now, but I can't speak with anyone who speak English language. Because your English is poor? I don't is that know why? You say, no? Well, listen. I don't know. You can, you can only improve either with lessons 
self-education yeah. or practicing yeah. speaking. Even if your English is poor, it only will get better with practice, okay? Yeah. Yes. So you just have to practice, all right? I face many difficult when I practice English language. Well, it will only get easier the more you practice. Okay, don't panic, but there's lots of help out there online to help you improve your English, all right? I'm so glad to to speak with you now because no uh, I feel uh, now it's really to practice English language. Yeah, you're practicing now. Yes. But um, I'm going to have to move on, get somebody else on, all right? So, Hamid, is it? Yes. Lovely. Lovely speaking to you, Hamid. You take what? care now. <laughs> what? What? I'm going to remove you, all right? Thank you, Hamid. Take care. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Let's see if we get somebody else on. I just want to answer some questions as well. Poor English, I don't think so. More vocabulary to... Well, listen, how often do you read English? That's how you improve your vocabulary. Can we change verbs of phrasal verbs? For example, keep in touch, keep in stay. No. No, you can't. Keep in stay is not a phrasal verb. Doesn't make any sense. Keep in touch does. Do you know what keep in touch means? You say it with friends, perhaps, um, when you're departing, you're leaving each other. Keep in touch means, it means, you could say stay in touch. So you wouldn't say keep in stay, stay in touch, keep in touch. Then you can, they both make sense. Um, all right, so Sarah, yeah, well, is Sarah, are you on there? Have you requested to join? Sarah, you need to be on here. So you can request to join Sarah. Just tap on the plus camera button and ask to join. Yeah, you improve your vocabulary. Yeah, you learn words from reading and you must use them. So don't just get one word. Learn one word and then the next day or that day, use it. You can, and not just writing. Writing is okay but it's speaking you have to speak the words to learn them and to remember them please let me what talk about you guys okay well you can understand english because you're listening to it a lot because it's you're practicing listening through music through shows through, through films you can't speak it because you're not practicing speaking so you can join uh, speaking groups. Has anybody, see people are joining, but not accepting. So Sarah wants to join. Let me see if I can, what's, you say what's written on the board? My Instagram and a search engine that if you use it, ecosia.org, they plant a tree every time you use it. All right, make up or invent when using one or other verb. Make up or invent. You could use them, they're quite similar. You can, make up is used for different ones, but you could make up but yeah, if you invent something, it's not exactly the same because you might have invented some technological piece of equipment. But you make, you, wouldn't, you don't make it up, kind of make up a story. That's more, I think make up is used more as a phrasal verb. Invent isn't a phrasal verb, basically. Um, it's just a verb. So... Let me know how to improve pronunciation. Listen, listen to the, the accent you want to speak and just practice, repeat it. Can get you so good. I'm glad you can understand me. 
I have no chat groups. I did have a podcast. Thank you for asking. But I stopped it. Maybe I will start it again. I made a request. My Okay. All right. And you are on there. I'll, I'll invite you on. Uh, thank you for joining. So I've invited Myra on. Let's see if she joins. Hi, mister. How are oh, you? Hello. How are I'm you? I'm fine. Thank Myra. you. I'm good. I'm good. Um, phrasal verbs. Any phrasal verbs? Uh, you not want really to help about with? phrasal verbs, but you know, about the last uh, our talk, I was going to uh, participate at your uh, teaching program. Yeah, at the workshop. And workshop. you know, the last time I stopped, I don't know. Yes. It is some inner um, reasons. And how it is called, do you know, uh, maybe you know why it just uh, happened like that, you know? The last time I was eager to participate, I was, yeah. And the last time something, something stopped me and I don't know really the reason why it was. And, uh, you know, I, I, was, I was afraid. I don't know. You know. I don't know. It's your mind. Uh, some inner reasons with uh, some thoughts or I don't know how, how to say it, you know. But I'm going to ask you, are you going still to do the workshop or you just stopped it? But well, <laughs> nobody wanted it. And you, I mean, you, you did want it, but you didn't buy it. Yeah. And it was, it was only $27. So to be honest, I'm glad, I'm happy that no one bought it because I, I realized afterwards that I'm kind of giving away everything yeah. for just $27. And I'm, yeah. I'm happy that yeah. nobody, because I won't do that ever again. But, I won't give, I won't give but do you the remember the first time to get I was so much for um, so, so little? Ready? I couldn't pay for it. You know, it was some problems with paying. Uh, but I know, I know, but that's that's life. I, I I tried I tried to do everything I could to make it possible. Set up PayPal, even set up uh, you could pay with uh, Bitcoin as well, or Ethereum. So but, but is I it made okay so now to easy people pay and... with some other ways? Well, no, because the workshop's not happening anymore. I'm afraid, but I am planning to do an IELTS course. So. Again, that is going to help you with your English. So just yeah. stay tuned. And you're in my email group, aren't you? Yeah, so, so there'll but be... Is it, is it you, I'm sure you've been reading my emails. Workshop, Send them out every uh, Thursday. Or is it some... No, no, because the workshop was basically going to teach you how to get to a C1, C2 level. So it was going to give you a lot more. I mean, arts is to help you pass an arts exam. So... There's different, but okay. I have some questions, but I'm going gonna to help you, ask wherever, you, uh, whichever. Direct. Okay. Yeah, you can you thank can DM you, me, sir. but thank Always you. Thank Lovely you. to see you again. I'll uh, I'll, re I'll remove you now. Take care. So yes, Myra, lovely lady, um, and she does follow me, and she's part of my email group. You're welcome to join that if you wish. Um, I sometimes uh, promote it on my Instagram, Learn Breezy English. So you're welcome to join. And let me see uh, other questions. What's the easiest way to identify phrasal verbs? Also, what does mean blurt out? All right, blurting out means when you say something like it unexpectedly you and it's loud and you blurt something out often it's a mistake you shouldn't have said something but you blurted out whatever it was you said um the easiest way to identify phrasal verbs well it's a verb that is connected with another word or maybe two other words and you'll often hear it said so uh, yesterday i did a live with um will ask teacher underscore will i believe lovely man from america and we're going to do a collaboration on phrasal verbs 
on the phrasal verb. Well, phrasal verbs connected with the word get, because there's lots of get phrasal verbs. So you'd have to like get, get out, get up, get over, get on, get, like, get on it. Do you know that one? Again, it's like two extra words, but you may have an IELTS exam in four weeks and you haven't started studying, you need to get on it. And that just means get on with it. It's also similar to that. Get on with studying, with working on preparing for the exam. Okay. All right. I don't know how long we'll do this for. It's been an hour. I have to get on with stuff. Um, in fact, I need to post on my, um, on my uh, profile. So uh, I'd love to continue, but I'm going to have to end it now. Thank you, everybody, for joining. And I could be on here all day. Could you give us some UK slang? You know, interestingly, if you go to my profile, I've done two videos with another English teacher on British slang words. So you can, I'm going to be doing lots more as well. So you can go to my profile, learn breezy English and watch those two videos. And there will be more coming this week. All right. Add me. You, I can't add you. Add yourself. All right. All right. Take care, everyone. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Um,